Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to show you amazing photos that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got these photos on a telegram channel called Mud Flood Research, Tartaria, True Aryan History. Please check the description to know more about the channel. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by displaying these photos. But that's the whole point. These photos are proof that a small occult elite of a didn't make the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, before I start, don't forget to subscribe to my backup channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. On the Ryajung Hotel, North Korea. The construction of this building is said to have begun in 1987, reaching its final height in 1992, with little developments being made since, besides the addition of some windows and other touches. The first thing that stands out is, there are no photographs of its early construction, that being the solid structure itself before 1992. The first image is the oldest photograph I could find, and it is immediately observed that there is a massive hill surrounding it, with no means of construction anywhere near, not even paved roads. My conclusion is, that this is an ancient building, possibly many hundreds of years old, no less than 300. That is not be constructed, but repurposed by the new world, after being dug out of a hill. Although it does not bear much resemblance to the neoclassical Tartarian style, I think this is a result of their attempt to modernize it. Is this one of many reasons why the people in power do not allow us to travel there? So-called mythical creatures are not merely metaphor or means of storytelling. These are legitimate historical beings of the old world. Countless species, races, and beings, went extinct in the last reset, among the deaths of billions of humans, you couldn't even imagine the scale of destruction and genocide that occurred on our plane 300 years ago. I'm sure these beings exist out there, perhaps on other continents surrounding our vast plain, but not anywhere our elites grant us permission to travel to. Bechisre Cave Monastery There are three legends regarding the founding of the monastery. According to the first, an icon of the Mother of God was found by a shepherd on the side of the monastery, which was transferred to a new place each time it returned to the rocks where it was found. People realized that it was necessary to build a temple here, since the acquisition took place on August 15, the Feast of the Assumption of the Virgin, they called it the Assumption. The second legend says that an evil serpent attacked the inhabitants of the district. Once, after fervent prayers to the Mother of God, people noticed a burning candle on one of the rocks. Having cut through the steps to it, the inhabitants found an icon of the Mother of God, and a dead serpent lying in front of her. The third legend believes that the icon of the Mother of God, found on the rocks of the gorge, was transferred there from a Byzantine monastery near Trebizond. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Do you know about the Corn Palace of Sioux City? On the left is the original structure, complete with the onion dome designs found in Russia and Eurasia, built to a much higher spec and quality than its modern counterpart on the right, which was built recently in modern times. Those who rewrite the history books want to convince you that this structure was originally built to celebrate corn. It's clear that the technologies which we used to construct the buildings of the past are no longer here. We can only mimic, or rather mock their style. But it's evident that the old world architecture was made to a much higher standard than we know of today. 
Besides from the obvious mocking of Tartarian architecture, the use of the swastika further demonstrates that worldwide Aryan culture was still present in America post-flood, and only recently for the past 70 years have they been seriously attempting to scrub any evidence of it. It's not just an Indian good luck symbol, it is a cosmic sign of gods. It was not only used by Hindus and Nazis, but all across this plain and beyond. They do not want you to see this symbol. The medieval skyscrapers of Bologna, Italy. They were built supposedly almost a thousand summers ago, between the 12th and 13th centuries, during the Middle Ages. It's not known what their purpose was, or exactly how they were built. As of now only remains two of the towers, but according to older depictions and accounts, which model reconstructions were made off of, the entire city was sprawling in such towers. The remaining ones are in very poor shape, and lack much of the detail that they had when first built. It can only be assumed that these structures were destroyed in the cataclysms of the last few centuries, as were almost all ancient buildings. What we have today is only a very minuscule amount of what sprawled the ancient world. Almost all old world architecture in the new world have been destroyed, so it's stunning to see marvels like this still standing. It's called the Portal of the Folded Wings Shrine in Los Angeles, some may be quick to dismiss it as being built in 1924, but truth is, that I cannot find any evidence to be able to attest to this construction date, likewise with the Parthenon in Nashville. These old world works of architecture could easily be centuries or millennia old, but for the controllers, it's as simple as changing a number of the date of construction in a public archive to something more recent. New York Palace in Budapest The official year of construction is claimed to be 1894. Of course as per usual with every other old world structure claimed to have been built recently, there is not a single photograph of the construction. The controllers simply need to change a number in the archives, and the whole history of a building has been rewritten that easily. What if one could time travel back to the turn of the 19th century? What if you were suddenly in the Russian Empire, what was once the heart of now occupied Tartary? What if you had also brought with you a modern digital camera and took some photographs for the rest of us to see? Sergei Prokhodin Gorsky, who lived from 1863 until 1944, has done the closest we could come to seeing such photographs from a modern camera. He had traveled around pre-communist Russia in the early 1900s, photographing his surroundings. I must stress, these are not colorized photographs done by modern digital artists. These are three-layer composites produced the way they would have been a century ago. The process is very simple, however I will not explain this now. This is early color photography. The results are stunning. I must stress that these are not colorized photographs. There are some intricate details to be spotted in some of these photographs in relation to our fake history. As much as I would love to draw your attention them, I will save that for another time. For now, just admire the photography of the early New World that has been preserved. This is truly beautiful. What do you think about this video? Please, like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this. They have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.